We went on this camel ride for like two hours in the sun and it was really fun and like the camels were super cute Hey guys, I am tanning and reading because that's my life.
of last night. You guys can even hear me. I'll include a video. For reference, it was basically just us dancing because no one else was dancing to like music. But it was really fun because we stayed until like 12 and we did it. Well, so during breakfast, some waiter just put flowers on our table and it was really interesting. And we did quad and it was so fun. I really like that. Like, I just want to ride a motorcycle now. I was so scared that my GoPro was going to fall out of my pocket. So then I was holding it and I was also scared. But honestly, it was really, really fun. And I like to see the videos now, so... jellyfish like 10 right. times but it was fine that time was the worst one but you know life <laughs> guys i got stung by your jellyfish <laughs> So I don't have any videos from my phone, but this is just some videos I took with the camera and the iPad, so yeah. Hey babes, I have no phone to film with. So the rest of the trip will be filmed with this camera. Phone got stolen. Hashtag life. Kidding. I was depressed about it yesterday and today. Messy hair. <laughs> this is the balcony. Super. And this is our view. What? And this is my cousin. This is the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to speak English with me. This is a bed. This is a phone. This is a book. 
this is a blank. Anyway, so this is the room with our Okay, very cool, very interesting. This shower is pretty bad. It has no like pressure. And the bathroom. I'm kind of scared of Mary, so I'm going to leave. See ya. Bye. video wait september 21st sorry and i got my phone back today yay but i just want to make this little story time i guess but this is just to like raise awareness to when you go to like a different country especially a country you're like not used to or you've never been if you guys are interested you guys can obviously like skip to the end and subscribe but um basically um how i got my phone stolen was really dumb basically we, me my cousin and my grandma we were all taking um pictures in this small alley and this guy was following us around but we didn't really notice it and he was like oh do you want a picture of you guys like us three and i was like oh you know like why not and he was like smiling so i was like oh he seems fine so i gave him my phone and then i don't know he was like starting to type something left he like ran so obviously i like start to chase him i'm like no you stole my phone and i'm like yelling in the street you stole my phone you stole my phone and it was so scary like Genuinely, it was just like one of the worst days of my life. I had never felt this dumb. We went straight to the police um, officers and everything and we gave them like my IMEI um, number. That's like usually on the back of your like iPhone case. And we gave them like a lot of information as well. And like thankfully, my grandma took a picture of the guy because we were all like taking pictures. So we had a picture of guy who stole my phone. And it's honestly been a super super hectic like past like three weeks I and mean, i did not have my phone for three weeks also like i obviously didn't like realize the danger of me like chasing the guy the guy stole my phone and i just ran after him without like thinking and that's such a bad like obviously like you should fight for it but also also like be super careful because i didn't realize but he could have had like a knife and he could have like stabbed me you, know, you like genuinely never know in these type of situations so you just have to be careful because when he ran he almost like um broke the nose of this woman who was like on the street because he was just running like just to not get caught right and obviously like 
imagine if I had like caught him, he could have like stabbed me. He could have given me a whole punch. Like I could have been hurt. And that's not something you want. And this is a big thank you to my mom, my dad, and Victor, my little brother, who like literally helped me because they were tracking my phone from Japan. They just did everything. And my cousin, who obviously helped me a lot as well, and my grandma, like obviously so many people helped me and I'm so grateful. It's just like awareness because basically people will be like, oh, can I use your phone to like call someone? Or can I, I can take a picture for you. Or like they will be like asking you to have your phone in their hand which is something you cannot do. Like, if you want to be nice, you can be like, oh, I'll call them for you. And you type the number or something, but just make sure you never give your phone. Because honestly, it's a mistake that anyone can do. And I do feel really like dumb when I'm like still thinking about it. It's genuinely given me like so many panic attacks. So like, I just hope you guys don't do the same mistake. And especially because you're like in a different country that you're not used to. And also like the whole process of getting it back. Basically, the police was like on it since my dad was pushing a lot. And they found it like after four or five days, which I was super lucky because usually like stolen phones happen all the time. And obviously like getting every single phone back that's like been stolen is like clearly just not gonna happen. But I've been really lucky about it because we were pushing and we like just searched so many times and we were like giving them information, just kept on persevering. So obviously if someone steals your phone, just don't try to like give up just yet. Just like persevere, especially if you have like, I find my iPhone number and everything, just do everything you can. And it's been like a hectic ride just getting it to Paris where I am at the moment. I've been really, really lucky. So this is just like a little story time that's been like super long. But yeah, just be careful. Don't trust anyone. Like just don't trust anyone. Like that's literally what I can say because I trusted just because he gave me a smile and I was like, oh, he's nice, but no, he wasn't nice. So don't do the same mistake as I did. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.